there. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well... And we're live. Welcome back to part 85 of the full game commentary and playthrough. We are back in Wapiti, off to meet Captain Monroe. This one is tricky. I really hate bringing current events and politics into this channel. I want to live in this game and in 1899. And I believe this is the first time in the history of this channel that I am referencing what the critical drinker calls the unspecified virus of unknown origin. However, there is a certain word in the cutscenes, integral to the plot, that will be flagged by the algorithm if we let the game say it aloud. Sort of like Voldemort, though I have no problem with saying his name in a video. We will need to tread lightly. Let's get started. If you are new to this channel, greetings! I am your friendly neighbor Super Antonio and please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Mr. Morgan! Captain Monroe is attending to the infirm. He's a good man. Arthur likes him. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding... Redacted for the algorithm. And sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration. That Redacted for the algorithm. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Arthur is happy to help and has a simple solution. Steal it back. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Okay, let's go for a ride. So, this Colonel Fable, he you knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making... We get to learn a bit more about Colonel Favors. I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rains Falls and Colonel Favors. 
I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Okay, let's go to work. And much like Rains Falls, well, exactly like Rains Falls, we're not allowed to shoot these jokers. Everything has to be so complicated. Poor Buell will never understand. The original plan was to lasso and hog tie. Oh oh. ah. Shoot that bastard already! Ah. Ah. Blast you! <laughs> You're dead, you ah. sorry son of a bitch. Regrettably, the game will not let us hog tie. Time for Plan B. Plan B, in case you didn't know, involves not defending ourselves, grabbing the goods, and running away. Kill you myself. Ah! This is it! Well, that could have gone smoother. However, everyone is still alive. Arthur calls that a W. And Buell still doesn't understand why we didn't just shoot everyone. Let's get back to Captain Monroe.
and the map. Doesn't look like those jokers are following us. We should be okay. Great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, no, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Arthur and Captain Monroe will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description, along with links to the merch store, my second channel, and our Discord. Also consider joining Team Super Antonio and supporting this channel with a channel membership for end credits in every video. Hello! I'm, I'm in no need of company. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Arthur is going to explore a bit and avoid going back to camp. Chapter 6 is a long march towards the inevitable end, and while we are doing it, Arthur is protesting and procrastinating. Who can blame him? I'll see you in part 86. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel where we are currently doing a first playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Hey, I think it worked. Like and subscribe for my first impression commentary and reactions as we explore this open medieval world, fight monsters, and ride around on a horse named Roach. I've spotted one of the army men looking through my- I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Howdy, fellas. What could you want here? Hey, boy.
never too old to learn. I imagine. 